Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am joined today on the summit by K.J. Reed, who is the new Director of Athletic Communications at Southern Nazarene University. K.J., thank you very much for taking some time with us today, and congratulations on the new gig. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Joey. I'm excited to get to talk to you and answer a few questions today. Well, uh, you've been a part of the Great American Conference in, in which you're now serving and continuing to serving to serve for quite some time. But Director of Athletic Communications, I, I think uh, most people would know that by a sim- simpler name, Sports Information Director. I know there are lots of titles that go around now, and so I right, think that's right. a very good one as well. What does your job entail? Uh, well, so here at SNU, we have a total of 18 total sports. I just got uh I guess told that the other day. I thought we had 16 and then we just <laughs> just come, we just have so many sports. But um mainly I am the primary contact and I guess primary distributor of communications of everything of all those 18 sports. So whether that be uh writing post game stories, uh recaps, uh handling all our social media and just any press things related to uh SNU athletics, I am uh, in charge of that. So you're you're basically you are the man who gets the word out and make sure that we all all know what's going on with the Crimson Storm and probably with a little bit of a of a uh, Crimson Slant, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so uh, if you uh, if you see our quarterback have uh, probably an extra two hundred yards, that means I messed up on something. <laughs> I'm uh, usually the one putting the stats together. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that, then actually, that that leads into uh, something else I wanted to ask. Tanner Styles at Southern mm-hmm. Nazarene has been filling that role for a little while, and he's going to right. be moving into a, a different role as as you move from graduate assistant into the role of director of athletic communications. How are you going to be right. working alongside Tanner? Uh, it's going to be. Uh, it's kind of we're kind of be. He's going to be helping me into the role actually a lot because uh, Tanner was. Just kind of give you a background on that. Tanner uh, was actually doing operations when I came here in my first year as a graduate assistant. And then uh, upon our other SID leaving, Tanner was, you know, he took that role and uh, he has taken, uh, he's done that for the last year and has done an amazing job and has taught me a lot. And so me uh, going from GA straight into the SID role, uh, I have a lot to learn. So I'm going to be working uh, closely aside Tanner. So I'm going to still be, you know, I'm going to have the complete duties of the sports communications director, but Tanner's going to be helping me a lot to just, you know, with our stats or just learning the whole process where it be emailing and uh, emailing our commissioner and our other SIDs around the conference, just getting myself, I guess, familiarizing myself with how the job is done on on a regular day basis. We're speaking with K.J. Reed from Southern Nazarene University, now the Director of Athletic Communications here on the Summit. And I do want to encourage you, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel, Midwest Sportsnet. That would would help a lot. Helps us us grow. Uh, K.J., I know know, we mentioned you're a former athlete also within the Great American Conference as you played linebacker at Arkansas Tech University, uh, an All-American linebacker as well. So (laughs) making a transition then from athlete and staying within an athletic department, uh, was that something that you'd ever thought about doing? Was this a goal? Uh, well, actually, uh, not at all. So when I graduated, I graduated with a bachelor's in uh, business marketing and management. I really had no idea what I wanted to do. And I just so happened to, I was at work one day and I was <laughs> looking at jobs. So how <laughs> uh, weird is that? I'm at work looking at other jobs, but this is for my career when I graduated college. So. Uh, I ran across this sports information job and, you know, I really had no, I guess, knowledge of what exactly sports information was. Looked into it a little bit and uh, it was a you know a neighboring school in the GAC. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to take a chance and found myself here. And I knew, um, you know, before even going into this role that I wanted to continue, you know, working in sports because that's just what I love. That's what I'm comfortable with. And uh, eventually just, you know, want to further myself in the administration. But yeah, so it came about that way. And from that, I've learned so, 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 so much. Uh, <laughs> just didn't know exactly where I wanted to direct my career going into this role. And uh, since being here, I've learned a lot. 
Well, you know, and you probably had a little bit extra time then with uh, the the gap in competition due to, you know, COVID-related issues over the course of the last 12 months yeah. and, and all of yeah. that. So there was a, 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 a few months with no competition, but I, right. has, it, has it more than made up for it with fall sports being in the spring now? I'm going to tell you now, it is more <laughs> than made up. More than made up. More than I, and I would like to say I like uh, seeing that uh, we only started, if I'm not mistaken, uh, basketball in the fall, uh, just going, I guess, a little bit after Thanksgiving or going to Christmas. But in this spring, we've played all our sports. So we're, um, I guess this is, you know, I can, I can almost, well, I actually want to say that I am grateful for this opportunity to have it all going at once mm-hmm. because it's given me experience to, and how to handle and, you know, and prep myself to, uh, you know, be ready for all these sports at one time. And, uh, you know, whether that be, <laughs> You know, just going through my checklist every week of six games, or I mean six different sports playing yeah. that's you know on a regular basis would not be happening. So it's been really, really uh, <laughs> st- uh stressful in some in some ways, but it's been good. Fall of twenty twenty one is looking like it's a lot going to be a lot easier, right? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I was like, well, you know, I, I, I'm I'm beginning to like the road, but doing this. With this many sports uh, every season, I was like, oh, that, that, that's, that's a lot tough. of a person. <laughs> that, that is a lot. I agree. Yeah. Well, hey, listen, speaking, by the way, I, I look back on, on your career as an athlete and a fantastic mm-hmm. athlete with the Wonder Boys at Arkansas Tech, an All-American, uh, nearly 300 tackles, nine sacks. But uh, what I wanted to ask you about, too, you know, I, I know that not all the time do the defensive players get a chance to turn things around. Uh, you yeah. had six fumble recoveries. Only one interception, but the one interception was returned for a touchdown. So which one has has more weight for you? Six fumble recoveries or one INT, but that one you got six on the board. Yeah, uh, well, um, it was 2017 season where I had six fumble recoveries. And uh, <laughs> they also didn't document one, so it didn't seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I would have to say I, I, I didn't play much offense growing up, and so my opportunity to score on defense – that would have been my junior year as well. That pick six, that weighs a little bit more to me because uh, okay. I made a little move when I when I scored <laughs> and uh, and I was just in shock. That, that, yeah, so I think that one that was a little more cooler to me. That's that is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, KJ, then uh, you are uh, moving into an admin role, and and I you were talking about even you know wanting to stay with this. What are your goals now moving in? I, uh, t- the spring of twenty twenty one is is starting to wrap up, and right. and I know you're already looking ahead. You have to be looking ahead to the fall as as uh, your tra- your role will transition officially into June, uh, right. and and working with Tanner in in that respect. Um, what, what are your goals for the department and as, as you see it and, and what you can do for the program? Well, going forward, um, uh, I would like to graduate here <laughs> and, uh, I'm actually graduating here this, uh, this Saturday. And so I'm going to graduate. And then from there, uh, our AD, uh, Danny Thompson, he always just tells us that, uh, that just because we've done it previous years or just recently last week or whatever the case may be, does not mean we have to continue doing it. So there are some ideas that I would like to change, whether that be, you know, change around our website a little bit, make it a little bit more accessible, a little more engaging. Uh, on our social media, just giving ourselves, I mean, just kind of, I guess, establishing an identity for our, our for SNU Athletics on social media a little bit more. And um, I guess, on the recap stories or just on our news and our press, just being um, a little more, I guess, descriptive or just improving that in any way that I can. So there's not even just huge goals that I, I have off the top of my head, but uh, th- those are some I can I can name. All right. Well, I wish you well in that and, and whatever we can do from Midwest Sportsnet to, to help you in achieving those goals yeah, and, and to further your career, then uh, <laughs> right, give, right. give me a call. You have my number, so that, yes, uh, that would be great. K.J. Reed, the upcoming new Director of Athletic Communications, uh, officially getting that title bestowed upon him after graduation and into the month of June and heading for the fall of 2021. Thank you, sir, for taking time with us today here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet. No problem, man. Thank you.